Hey everybody, just thought I would show you how to pot these up with some organic soil. They do have some organic options like this one. This is from Whitney Farms and especially for your veggies and things that you plant, herbs and stuff. These are going to be from some flowers, from some clearance flowers at Lowe's. I revived these last night, they're impatient, so they're for the shade area. I'm doing these for someone else, but this is a batch of water I ran shallow with some Epsom salts and Dead Sea salt, and these actually did not have this many blooms yesterday, but it's a little healthier looking than it was. This is what you can do with all clearance plants, and then of course you can like pick off your yellow leaves when you see fit, and it will look healthier, but what I'm doing with this baby is I got it 50% off. So it was under $6. Going to take out each clump of individual plants or a few clumps to plant into here for someone's porch. It's going to actually go in a little pail and hanger. I'll show that to you in another video when we're done. But here's our layering, organic soil on your bottom layer. Some of the sticks that I process from the trees and in the wood in our yard. I use the match stick, stick size, um, sometimes pencil, but more closer to match stick size. And then a layer of the hay. You can see how it's decomposing on the inside because this has been out there, um, you know, year and a half or so. And so we're getting some good material inside. Some people will actually grow, like a, you can grow potatoes and hay bales and things like that but I'm adding it to a layer of the soil, almost like our compost pile, right in your flower container because these things will break down, but the sticks, it will take quite a while for those to break down, but they will eventually. So then I added a layer of, this is an organic pod from Aldi's. I also had Life Boost coffee that I tried once because coffee is the most chemically, chemically laden, um, material out there if you're not careful. So these are organic and it looks like this and I'm just digging it out with one of the knives that I preserved from cleaning those drawers that time. And that goes on top of this. Then I'm going to put in some more of the organic soil on into here. And uh, also we'll be putting some of these that I helped revive last night. At this time of the year some of the garden centers are a little overwhelmed and dry so you have to revive them but those will go into the fronts of these containers and then the clear, other clearance flowers on top. Uh, in this pile over here we'll be planting a mix of perennials and annuals so that the person I'm doing this to them too can opt to just use them for decoration uh, for the rest of the summer and fall season and then if they want to do plantings with them or move the pots around that's optional. They'll be very mobile because this person is, um, you know, working on a new garden, trying to revive an older yard. So hopefully that will be very helpful. All right, so I will continue layering up and then maybe I will do another video on the plantings I'm doing with some of these over here. Got lavender, a nice vining plant here in white to back some of these things up. So you guys have a great day.